skin, Lexus Something magnetic draws you near to me Our worlds collided like a symphony This is how true love's supposed to be A vivacious boss with plenty style Come on girl, it's your time now There's a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone up. It is your girl Kristen Alexis and we are back. So today we're doing a video that's a little bit different. We're doing a day in the life but it's an off day. So as most of you know I'm a project manager. I'm a senior project manager now and I have been working in project management for several years. This is actually my second time going through the certification. Um, I passed the certification and I've been able to renew twice so far. So I'm having a pretty good run. Knock on wood. <laughs> but with that being said today's an off day. It is is Juneteenth and your girl has got the day off so I got a free day today my dog is going crazy so I had to put him in the cage <laughs> like oh my gosh he wants to bark at everything he sees outside but anyways back to what we were talking about so today is Juneteenth and I have a free day off of work I want to be really productive and try to get ahead on a couple of things and then do some things for myself today so just a pre-warning for those who are looking for like all project management in this video this is not the one but we're still gonna have a great time nonetheless but I just want to make sure to let you know so I don't get any of those comments later <laughs> the things I want to definitely make sure I take care of today though the first thing is I need to make a list of everything I need to take care of for the rest of the week second thing I want to do is go through the meetings that I have and just write out what I want to accomplish in those meetings questions I definitely need to have answered so that I ensure when I get into those calls I have everything thought out and I'm able to use the time most efficiently because sometimes it can be really hard to get people in front of you and to actually talk to them live so when I do it I want to take full advantage because it might be a while before I get them again so those are the two things I know for sure I want to knock out today and then I also need to put in an IT request to create something for my team basically it's like a way we're gonna do our approvals moving forward so we can do automated approvals electronically as opposed to trying to do it via email it's so frustrating as a project manager when you're trying to get approvals for things like your charter your project plan and all of those important documents you want to make sure people have really bought into and doing it via email is a nightmare so we've got this new electronic way you can do it in teams if you have teams take advantage of the apps they offer you so I'm setting one up for my team so we can do it and actually all use the same approvals app as opposed to trying to do it individually so I'm gonna do that IT request today so I don't have to think about doing it tomorrow when I'm actually working that's my list of PM things we're gonna take care of so why don't we go ahead knock that stuff out so we can get into the rest of our day we're gonna start with this list okay the one thing I like to use is my iPad so I have an iPad um, this is an iPad Pro I've been using for quite some time I have the pen that goes with it that I'm able to use and write on it if I'd like um, I like to use the keyboard though so mine has the keyboard I believe this is the iPad or the Apple keyboard I should say and I've been using this for a really long time it is definitely investment to get into but it's really really convenient for work so I'm gonna use this and then I also use Microsoft OneNote I love OneNote if you guys have been to any of my project management videos in the past you know a girl loves Microsoft OneNote, but the biggest benefit that I have with Microsoft OneNote is I can use it on my iPad, I can use it on my personal computer, which is this Mac right here, and I can also use it on my work computer, which is right here as well. So I can sync them all together and take notes on one device and then pull it up on another device, which is so 
convenient. I'm trying to be as good as possible with my finances and basically just live like nobody else, you know what I mean? I wanna save more than most people. I want to just be very diligent. So I'm going to work on my budget on this day off and just make sure there's nothing I'm missing. And then Brian and I actually decided we're gonna combine all of our finances together and then just give ourselves allowance from the big pot. As opposed to right now, we've been putting in a percentage of both of our incomes into one pot and paying our bills from there. The reason why we decided we wanna just go ahead and put everything together is for the accountability perspective. <laughs> for me, it's so easy to DoorDash, to get on Amazon and just buy things because I'm like, oh, it's just $20. Oh, it's just $25 for DoorDash. Oh, it's just $15 on Amazon. But when you do those things every single day, it adds up where you're spending hundreds of dollars every week on things you probably don't need to be consuming. So I gotta chill out on that. And I feel like for one way for me is the accountability of just combining our incomes and doing it together. You know what I'm saying? Two is better than one. So that's our plan and we're gonna stick with it. So let me back out this um, Outlook planning and then um, we're gonna do the budget, which I probably won't show my computer for a lot of this, but I'm gonna knock this stuff out. Then after that, we're probably gonna get out the house and take care of some things I need to take care of for myself, because I got some things I wanna do, like I wanna look for some work clothes, I want to probably like go get something to eat for lunch, and just like do some fun stuff for me since I am off work and I wanna take full advantage. One thing that is so convenient in Microsoft OneNote is they have this functionality where you basically can click on what's called meeting details. So I'm not gonna show my screen again because I don't like to share my work computer. However, y'all can follow the instructions and maybe I'll see if I can find some little like screen captures of this online. But long story short, you, there's a button in the top right hand corner called meeting details. If you click that button, it'll pull up your meetings from Outlook because it's a Microsoft app. So all the apps are connected, right? So you click the button and it'll pull all your meetings for the week or for whatever time frame. You click the day that you want to pull from a specific meeting. You go to that day and you click on the meeting. And what it does is it populates the OneNote page that you have with the meeting details from the meeting in Outlook. It's so cool because it'll actually have all the names of the people who are invited with a box next to it where you can check the box to basically say that they did join. It also has if they had accepted the meeting or if they had declined it. It has the meeting name, the meeting date, the time, all the details, and then what you can do from there is just take notes for the meeting underneath. So this is how I'm prepping by basically just writing out the information that I want to make sure is covered in that call. So I'm putting in there the um, agenda, you know, what I wanna get out of it, so questions I need answered. That way I have a cheat sheet and I don't have to be in there just going off the top of my head or off of like just super, super high level things. I can go in there with intention and with purpose to ensure that I am most effective for the call and get everything that I need. Cause as I was mentioning, as I've told y'all twice before today in this call, in this meeting, I was gonna say this call, <laughs> as I've told you guys twice before in this particular video, it's so important to make sure you're maximizing the time you get with these stakeholders. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I just got one meeting done. I have, it looks like four or more I need to do and then that way I will be totally prepared for Thursday and Friday to finish strong in this work week. time so I'm about to run and take care of some things I need to knock out including get some food so I want to get some sushi I'm gonna see if this little sushi spot I absolutely love is open I want to get some shrimp tempura and some of the other things that they offer one of my favorite places to go it's kind of hot in here too so let me turn my air up <laughs> so yeah that is the plan I think I also want to go to TJ Maxx and see if I can find some work clothes um, you know, just kind of get lucky. And then I also would like to hit up um, Home Goods. So I want to go to Home Goods as well. And I think those are my three stops before we make it back to the crib and see if Ryan is about off of work. My husband doesn't get Juneteenth off. So a lot of the holidays that I get, he doesn't end up getting. 
just because our companies are so different and it kind of sucks sometimes because I love when I have, you know, these holidays off, but I want to spend it with my baby. So, you know, it is what it is. Thankfully, he's off around six o'clock this evening and we'll be able to spend some time together at that point. So I'm going to try to have everything I need to have taken care of before he's done. That way, when we're together, we can maximize our time. And then in terms of like putting our budget together, I was asking him what time we should have our family meeting and he's like nine o'clock. <laughs> I'm like nine o'clock that's so late but you know you got to make it do what it do right so we're gonna make it happen Ago, one of my girlfriends recommended a book called Deep Work and I was at Barnes & Noble so I decided to check it out and ended up getting it. So the book was $31 and basically this book and I'm going to read to you the definition of deep work from the author. Deep work, professional activities performed in a state of distraction free concentration that push your cognitive capabilities to their limit. These efforts create new value, improve your skill, and are hard to replicate. So essentially, he's just kind of um, setting up why it's important to have deep work and perform deep work and what the benefits are to you and how to do it. So I'm really looking forward to getting into this book because I know for myself, I definitely can become distracted and I have to be very actively focused on just focusing on what it is I want to get done and take care of and accomplish in my day. So I know if you are like me, you know, there's a lot of things trying to take our attention. It's absolutely sometimes amazing when you think about how much we do and get done in a day. Like it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so if you're like me at all and you're just trying to prioritize and figure out the best way to focus on what's important but get a lot of stuff done, but at the same time, have time for your rest and relaxation, try this book and see what you think as well. I'd love to read this with you guys. Definitely looking forward to getting into it. And then they've got this little statement here that says rules are rules for focus, success in a distracted world. So I will tell you guys what I think the next time we get together, but 
definitely check this out it doesn't look like a really hard read at all um, not a lot of little font or anything like that and the book is only a little bit under 300 pages so you can do this you can knock this book out and we can do it together so let's get it let's get into it I'll put a link in the description box from Amazon if you want to order it and that way you don't have to run out to Barnes and Noble and chances are Amazon is probably a little bit cheaper because you know they got these competitive prices now <laughs> from being as big as they are so with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and probably change so I can do some exercise on my Peloton. I wanted to try to knock out a ride before my husband gets off work, so I'm doing pretty good in my day. I've knocked out almost every single thing I had on my list except for this last thing. So we're gonna 